Hello and welcome to the Inspection and Testing online course. My name is Trevor and I'm going to be your tutor. First of all, thank you for either signing up for this online course or showing interest in it. I'm sure you'll find it helpful and I'll do my best to help you achieve a pass first time on your inspection and testing exam. Before we begin with the course, there are a few things that we need to point out and make absolutely clear. First of all, as you know, this is an online course for the City and Guilds 239152 Level 3 Award in Initial and Periodic Inspection and Testing of Electrical Installations Qualification. In other words, this course is aimed to cover both initial verification and periodic inspection. You probably know that you could do initial verification or periodic inspection on its own. The qualifications covering these are called City and Guilds 239150 Level 3 Award in Initial Verification of Electrical Installations and City and Guilds 239151 Level 3 Award in Periodic Inspection and Testing of Electrical Installations. I struggle to understand why anybody would want to double the number of exams and tests in order to ultimately get the same qualifications as with the Combined Inspection and Testing course, City and Guilds 239152, but each to their own. So if that is what you intend to do, you could skip over a section of this online course and focus only on what is relevant to you. Again, in my humble opinion, if you're doing one or the other on its own, you might as well do both at the same time. Yes, the exam will be a little bit longer and harder, but you will only do it once. The same goes for the short paper exam and the multiple choice exam. You will only do it once rather than two times. Also, there is a qualification called City and Guilds 239210, Fundamental Inspection, Testing and Initial Verification. And yes, it is a start towards inspection and testing, but it does not actually make you qualified in inspection and testing, so why bother? You might as well go for the big one, City and Guilds 239152, and avoid the repetition of exams and tests. In the long run, this will work out cheaper. So, this was the first thing we wanted to make sure everybody understands. From our point of view, the second and perhaps far more important thing that we absolutely want to make clear is what this course isn't. We want to make it as clear as possible, and I really have to stress this, this course is not a like-for-like -like substitute for the classroom-based inspection and testing courses offered by traditional training centres. This is an online course, so it cannot give you the practical training required to pass the inspection and testing exam. So let's make it clear that this online course is aimed at, first and foremost, experienced electricians already doing the practical side of inspection and testing alongside colleagues who are fully qualified. Many of you out there already know how to perform the practical tests required for inspection and testing, but haven't got the formal qualifications to acknowledge this. I was one of these electricians many years ago. By the time I took my inspection and testing course, I was ready for the practical exam, but I needed to take the course to cover everything else, such as the theoretical knowledge required, relevant regulations, health and safety, etc. If you're one of these electricians, this course is for you. As long as you are happy with the practical side of things, I can guarantee that you will be ready for the inspection and testing exam by completing this online course. This online course is also aimed at anybody, even a complete novice, interested in inspection and testing and planning to start their journey towards this extremely valuable qualification. For example, you could be working right now as an electrical improver or as an electrician's mate. You could be thinking about obtaining this qualification to further your career. Again, 
This course will not substitute the classroom-based practical training required, but it is a much cheaper way of finding out if this qualification is suitable for you. By doing this course, you will learn everything there is to know regarding inspection and testing. Once you are confident with the theory side of things, you will be better positioned to move on to this qualification's practical aspects. This online course might be the stepping stone towards this valuable qualification. Once you have completed this course, you will be in a strong position to ask your employer to enrol you on a classroom-based course. Completing this online course will provide your employer with evidence of your commitment and reassure them that their money will be well spent. So, how does this online course work? The course is made up of several big sections. We will start by looking at the IET's Guidance Note 3, GN3. This book explains and outlines everything relevant to inspection and testing. We will cover this book from cover to cover, explaining and highlighting everything relevant for the inspection and testing exam. We will cover general requirements such as regulations and health and safety, initial verification including all the practical tests required, and periodic inspection. Once we have covered Guidance Note 3, we will move on to the next section of the online course, Inspection and Testing Form Filling Guide. This section will look at inspection and testing forms, such as the Electrical Installation Certificate, how to fill it in, what to look for, etc. Many of you have requested this as something that would be very helpful to build confidence with form filling. We will look at several examples, some given in GN3 and some real life examples as well. Once we are confident with inspection and testing form filling, we will have a quick look at verification of test results. This is something that is extremely important, yet very easy to miss. The next section of the online course will be on fault finding during the inspection and testing process. We will cover a range of faults, for example, errors typically found within ring main circuits. After this section, we will look at practical inspection and testing procedures. We have prepared a series of videos to illustrate each practical test in great detail. Again, I must emphasize that this will not replace hands-on practical training in a classroom environment, but it gives you an excellent introduction to it. Last but not least, you will arrive at the mock exam section of the online course. You will be presented with a dedicated exam simulator for the inspection and testing Unit 502 multiple choice online test. The exam simulator contains many hundreds of past exam questions from all three publications required for the multiple choice test. Guidance Note 3, BS 7671 and the on-site guide. You'll be able to practice as many times as you want, and once you are confident with your results, you can then move on to the next mock tests, the City and Guilds 239152 Advanced Test, and then finally the City and Guilds 239152 Final Test. At this point, you will be either ready to go out for the inspection and testing exam, or look into options on how to learn and practice the practical tests required. For those of you who are confident enough with your practical testing skills, we offer the option to take the exam with one of our partner examination centres. This option comes with one inspection and testing practice day and one day for the actual exam. Both are included in the price. You can purchase this option either when signing up for the online course or you can request it at a later date if you wish. Whichever option suits you the best. Right, just a few more words. You will have email tutor support on the standard plan or access to telephone tutor support on the premium plan throughout this process. My colleagues and I are here to help if and when you need us. You will have access to the course for one year without any restriction or limitation 
so you can study at a comfortable pace and take the exam whenever you are ready. If you have any problem or any trouble with this course, please contact us at tutorsupport at learnzonemedia.com. We will do our best to resolve your issue. If you are unhappy with this product, you can request a refund any time within the first 30 days of your purchase, but I'm sure it will not come to that. So, if you're ready, which means you have your GN3 book in front of you, a couple of highlighters and a pencil, let's dive in and get this done.